Hey there, welcome back. And I hope you're enjoying this series on the leadership formula. We are currently busy with the second part of the formula, which is M to the E, the mentee. My name is Rowan van Dijk. I'm an author, speaker, and a leadership trainer. And as I've said many times before, if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy the content, share it as widely as possible with anybody you think that will find value. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon and you'll regularly be notified as these new videos get launched and they get released. M to the E, the mentee. We've spoken about applying pressure, about expanding the comfort zone of the mentee. We've also spoken about that you need to allow for time. It's a long-term journey. It's not something that happens overnight. It could take years. The last thing important and probably the most important component of the mentee and of the whole formula and to make it work is you have to allow for failure. You heard me? You have to allow for failure. You need to allow the mentees to make mistakes. Think about it. How did you get where you are today? You didn't wake up one morning and suddenly you are where you are now. You made a number of mistakes along the way. I, I, I love using my granddaughter as an example for explaining failure. Yeah. When she was starting to stand, she was crawling and she was learning to stand and she was trying. And every time she'd stand up a bit and then she'd fall down. We didn't boo her or chuck her out. We encouraged her. We clapped hands. Yay, great, great, great. And she kept trying and she kept trying and she kept trying. And after weeks, she eventually managed to stand. And then she tried to walk. And again, she failed a couple of times and she fell down. But she stood up and she tried. Then as well, when it comes to failure, the team is so important. Because the team support one another. When someone falls down, makes a mistake, there's other members of the team and the leader to pick them up and to help them. It's about having empathy. Understand where you were at that point and understand where this person is coming from and allow them to make a mistake. Remember, failure is only failure if no lesson is learned. Other than that, it's experience. That's the only way you get experience. Banging your head a couple of times. Yes, you don't want them to make mistakes that are going to cost you thousands of dollars or going to ruin your company. I, I agree with it. So that is why you are there. That is why you are mentoring. That's why they are mentee. You are there guiding them along. But you can't wrap them in cotton wool and you can't expect them to do everything right the first time. You've got to allow them to make a couple of mistakes along the way so that they can learn. You know, if you look at a lot of businesses, you know, I've spoken to many people. You look at venture capitalists, investors. You even look at some banks. They will much rather invest in somebody that's failed in business and gone bankrupt than somebody that's never failed. Because they know that person has learned from the mistakes. They know there's a better chance of success for somebody that's already failed because they're not going to make the same mistakes. Now, we use Thomas Edison. Classic example. Invented the light bulb. After the thousand and first try. So effectively, he failed a thousand times. His attitude, however, was different. Edison turned around and said he didn't fail a thousand times. He learned a thousand ways not to make a light bulb. Now, if you have that attitude, then the failure becomes a learning curve and you gain experience from it and the, the mentee gains experience from it. And that's how they learn to get to your position. Because your role in this whole formula is to create other leaders. And how do you create other leaders if they don't know? I can remember the first time I rode a bicycle, my knees bled for two days because I fell off. But eventually I learned to ride a bicycle. It's exactly the same with your people if you're teaching them and you're developing them. You need to allow them to fall down every now and then. But be there to pick them up. Be there to clean the scrape knee and to put the plaster on. So take your message, drive your message. Work with your mentees. 
put pressure on them, allow them time to grow, and allow them to make the mistake we can help them. Remember, share this video as much as you can. And I will catch you back for another video.